How dare you like Harry Potter? Me and my cousin have a weird relationship. Her being very religious, outgoing and kind of entitled. To me being quiet, bisexual and a big fantasy magic fan. This would be very important later. I'm very big into Harry Potter and she thinks anyone other than God using magic is evil. So we argue a lot. On to the story. I was helping out at Entitled Cousin's shop when Little Cousin comes up to me and asks why I like Harry Potter. I was just thinking, okay, cool. So I started telling him why I think Harry Potter is cool. Then Entitled Cousin hears this. I knew I was doomed. What are you doing? You're corrupting Little Cousin. Uh, I'm sorry, Entitled Cousin, but he asked me. You liar. We don't talk about that terrible stuff here. You should not get paid for your work today. The thing is, I don't actually work there. She just kind of pays me whenever because I volunteer. I ended up going into the break room and continued reading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. She did not pay me that day. My cousin is a very kind woman, but she is very pushy on her beliefs. I'm a bisexual Wiccan. She is not aware of either of these, so I'm kind of scared around her currently. She pushes her beliefs too hard sometimes, but not paying me. Damn, dude. Sorry this story wasn't long and exciting. May the force be with you. So I've lurked here forever, but I've never encountered another entitled parent until yesterday. I was at the mall shopping in the store that sells Star Wars merchandise, along with other kids' toys. I went there specifically to get the Naboo Speeder, made my Hot Wheels, since I have the other eight in the collection. There was only one left, and I grabbed it triumphantly. A kid, a kid tugged in my jeans, blimey, and I turned around to see what's up. It was a little girl, and she pointed at the speed and said, I wanted that one. Now, I would have gladly given it to her if it wasn't for her mother. Entitled mother turned onto the aisle and heard what her kids said. She held her hand out expectantly at me and motioned for the speeder. My daughter wants that. Give it to me. I was about to... You're too old for these toys anyway. That kind of made me mad, because who is she to say that? An employee heard us and came over, offering to get one from the back for the kid. The mum went nuts and insisted she had to have the one in my hands. By then, the kid was hiding behind her mum's legs and about to cry from the scene the mum was making. The employee asked her to leave in the end and apologised to me. I just feel bad for the little girl who didn't get the speeder because her mum had to act like an ass. Okay, this story is short, so I'm sorry. Anyways, I was 10 years old when this happened. I was leaving school on a Friday on my birthday and was really joyful and happy, which was nice given how I used to be depressed. So I hop in the car with my mum and dad and my best friend's mother just has to go out to our car window and scream at us about my mum trying to kidnap her child. I'm crying and shaking since of this and especially when she threatened to call the police on my mum. She didn't gladly. I asked my mum why did she accuse her of this and told me that she had asked my best friend when he was walking home from school if he wanted to go to my party and I believed her my mum is sensitive and calm woman and knows what is right. Entitled mum wants me to buy my sister earbuds that are more money than I have. A bit of backstory, I've never had the best relationship with my mother, but my sister I've always been close with, even if she is a brat sometimes. When my parents divorced right around 2015, that relationship with my mother became worse. I'll call this story targeted for the sake of this story. Cast is me, EM's entitled mother and S's sister. We were at Targeted and I was looking for a pair of earbuds because my last pair had just broken. This was right around 7 yesterday. I spot a pair, black, good brand, that are half off. Which is weird because the brand is always super expensive. I grab them and make sure I have enough money. I had $22 on me at the time and the earbuds were $7.50. Enter my entitled mother. I see you're getting earbuds. Well, yeah, my last pair broke. Get your sister a pair. That pair right there. Points to a $50 pair of headphones. Uh, sorry, no, it's my money and I need these for school. Plus I don't have enough for them. Don't be silly, get sister those. No, sorry mum, but I don't have enough money. I gave you that money. Lies, my dad gave it to me for my birthday. So I decide what you do with it. Sorry, Mum, but my answer is no. Now, my sister steps in. Mum, she doesn't have to buy crap for me. But I walk off heading towards the register. That's the end of the story. My mum has been entitled for right around two years now. 
Ever since she got a boyfriend and he moved in with us, after knowing my mother for about a month. He's in Florida right now, thank you to whoever made that happen, so I don't have to deal with him until the 6th. Wish me luck. Well that's yesterday. I get yelled at for not using handicap parking. This happened yesterday, I'm still flummoxed, I'm on mobile. To set up my vehicle, my husband is disabled and we have a scooter that is on a lift attached to the back. Drive through any VA and you'll see these lifts. I, while running errands, I stopped at the grocery store. I waited for a car to back out, third in from the door, next to handicapped parking. I put my turn signal on and wait. Wave through the dude and pull in. I sit there dancing in the seat because you spin me right round is in the radio. Is in the radio. Suddenly a loud knocking on my window. After I scream a little, I lower the window two inches. There she is, the dread Karen. Stuck in the 90s, there's nothing wrong with the 90s, with the long stringy hair that is black at the roots, three inches down, and blonde the other ten inches. Can I help you? Where did you park here? You're obviously handicapped park in the next spot. I need this. I have kids. Um, no, my husband is the disabled one, and he... Entitled mother cuts me off. Just move your car. It's going to snow, and I don't want my daughter in the snow. It's illegal for me to park there because my husband is not with me. I don't care. You have that thingy. Points towards the back of my van. Just park there. Okay. You shouldn't leave your kid in a car alone with the driver door open. That's how kidnapping happens. Goodbye. Entitled mother makes a screeching noise and hits my window again. Basically I, went to, basically, I waited until she got back in the car and drove off, heading into the store and tried to shop. She should appear like a pop-up book from hell. Keep making snide comments, then disappear again. Hey, thanks for watching to the end. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, go ahead. I always see them. I always enjoy engaging with them. You can subscribe if you want, if you choose to. No, there's no pressure to. Or you can click one of the other videos on the screen now. Or you may even have a favourite subreddit that you'd like covered.